What is going on? What is going on? Another video. I'm chilling. You know, I'm in my, my hippie vibe, I guess, right now. I'm on the floor. Got my little bed, you know. Anyways, hope everyone is well. Another video. And I'm going to talk about a good topic in this video. A lot of, um, you know, I know a lot of people that follow this channel. Like when I talk about Planet 13, it's a stock that I hold. And in this video, I mean, Planet 13, we've seen a lot of selling pressure on the stock. I'm going to share my opinion on that stock going into the future. You know, could we see Planet go under a dollar? You know, I'm going to go over my thoughts on that. What would it take for Planet to go under a dollar? You know, how I see the overall price going long term. And yeah, just kind of go over those, you know, thoughts with you guys. If you enjoy the content, hit the thumbs up button. Give me a like. Go down there, hit the subscribe button. Helps the channel, helps the algorithm. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on Planet, what you're doing for Planet. And also, by the way, I am doing a home. Obviously, I just moved in. So if you're wondering, I just moved into the house that I'm living in in Las Vegas. So I do have a home tour video coming for you guys. I don't know if I'm going to release it and do it tomorrow or if I'm going to do it maybe early next week, but I do have a home tour video. I know I got a lot of requests for that. So I will do that for you guys as well. I just got to figure out putting a little bit more content together. We're also working, um, getting a lot more stuff together. We have a room upstairs that I'll show you guys in the home tour that we're going to be probably getting a lot of stuff set up for like a studio type area. So hopefully the content will kind of keep growing, but regardless, let's talk about the stock. So Planet 13, Planet 13. So the stock currently right now is sitting around a dollar and 29 cents. And, you know, it's just been a really, if you look at Planet 13, it's really been a rough year for the stock. You know, we've, We've seen an economic recession. You know, I would say that it's safe to say that now we're in a recession. Call it what you want, but even, you know, the analysts are starting to say that we're in a recession now. So we've seen the S&P 500 pull back almost 25%. We've seen the NASDAQ drop about 34%. Could have came up a little bit today. We did have a green day today. Ah, so we've kind of seen those, we've kind of seen those, um, you know, start to, you know, come back a little bit. But, you know, yesterday, I mean, we saw the Fed came out the other day. We had a really green day. Yesterday followed up by another terrible day that washed away all those gains. And then today we had an okay day, but we've kind of seen this happen over and over again if you've been an investor for the last year, where stocks just continue to go down. So there's been like this slow bleed out. So you have these positive days that makes you think, that we might be over this hump and then it just continues to sell off. And companies like Planet, you know, are going to be hurt the most. And in a, if you look at a, at a stock like Planet, companies like Planet are going to be hurt the most because they're a small company, they're a small market cap, they're a super growth stock. They have a product that's a little bit on the, you know, has a lot of changes that have to go for that product to continue to grow. And... They're just a company that if a, if, if, a market, if a market goes risk off and there's a lot of selling, nobody's going to have anything to do with Planet. Planet, you got to think about it. Planet 13 is a stock where most, most people that are invested in Planet 13 are retail investors. You know, Wall Street, a, a stock like Planet 13 is not even on the, it, it ain't even on the list for Wall Street. Wall Street doesn't even know what this stock is. Planet 13 mainly is a retail investor stock. And we saw that stock go all the way past up over $7 at its peak. Now we're seeing the stock sit at $1.29. And if you looked at about $1.50, that was a major resistance level for Planet 13. $1.50, you know, we kind of saw it go from $1.60 to $1.50. And I think what that was, was I think a, a lot of the long-term holders, that was a breaking point, right? Whether people got margin called, Rather, people just couldn't take the pain anymore, you know, but that was a breaking point to where once that stock went under 150, we've seen it now just accelerate pretty fast to 130. And I think the next stopping point for Planet's going to be at about $1.15. If we see it break under $1.15, I think there's a high possibility 
we could see this stock go all the way down to a dollar. Now, when, if, the, if the stock, if Planet 13 hits one dollar, that's going to be a very, 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 very psychological price for the planet because if it goes under a dollar, you know, that's going to that's going to cause maybe even more emotional selling. And in a market that we're in right now, when you're seeing countless companies, massive companies like Shopify, uh, Square, PayPal, when you're seeing massive companies sell off at the pace that they're selling right now, Planet 13 doesn't have a chance. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what that company's doing. They don't have a chance in this type of market because no companies have a chance. Any company that's in growth, no chance because no, it doesn't matter what earnings are reported. You know, it doesn't matter what the company's good news comes out. Nobody wants to touch this stock. Nobody even wants to put their money in stocks right now. A little coffee break. So you have to be aware of that if you're an investor in Planet. Now, let me be very clear. I am a stockholder of Planet 13. I have no intentions to sell my shares. I think Planet 13 has a great future ahead of it. But I also think it has a lot of problems ahead of it, not because of the company, but because of the, the, the microeconomic environment that we're in. There's going to be a lot of up and down movements. There's going to be a lot of, you know, probably drama, a lot of fear. And the more fear that continues to get baked into the market, the more liquidity is going to get pulled out. We don't know what's going to happen with housing prices. We don't know if those are going to go down. We don't know, well, we, we, know how, we know they're going down, but we don't know how much they're going down. And not necessarily that the housing market's going to affect Planet 13, but the more liquidity and the more panic, you know, the more you're going to start seeing a stock like Planet 13 get hit. And I mean, I feel like most of the pain, I feel like most of the pain has been baked in the planet. Obviously, the housing market hasn't had a lot of, you know, the housing market and Planet 13 aren't going to move together. Right? They're not the same. They're not going to move together. The housing market has a lot more room to fall than a stock like Planet that's down 70%. Right? But when you're like Planet and you're a company that's growing, you know, Planet's trying to open stores. You know, they have their second store in Orange County. They have, they're working on more stores on the East Coast. They're trying to grow their company. But when you're in, a, in, a, when you're in an environment where interest rates are going up drastically, when interest rates have went up double, well, what does that mean? That means debt's going to get more expensive which means it's gonna be a little bit harder for these companies to grow because the debt they have to take on to grow becomes more expensive. Also, I mean, you have to look at employees right now. You know, how many employees do you take on? If we see, if we see layoffs, which we've already started to see a lot of layoffs start to come through, if we continue to see layoffs, well, that's gonna be harder for Planet 13 to keep employees. I mean, you could, you could start to see more employees maybe start to get laid off. Now, I do have a story about Planet. So one of the guys that I live with here in this house, he, uh, him and his girlfriend went to Planet 13 the other day, and he said that they were jam-packed. So the store inside was full. He said there was a ton of traffic out front. The only thing he did say is that he noticed that like half the registers didn't have people working at them. So I wouldn't be surprised that Planet 13 has probably eliminated some of its staff or cut down on how many people they have working at one time, maybe lowered hours. Like, maybe you won't see layoffs at Planet, but you'll probably start to see people that are working there's hours get cut. But he did say that the um, the parking lot's full, the store's full. I'm obviously going to go out there. I just haven't had time yet. I, um, I don't necessarily participate in the product, but I do want to go out there, see the store, kind of let you guys know what's going on. Um, but yeah, so eventually I'll check it out. But that was some good news that I heard. As far as their next earnings, I'm not expecting anything on the next earnings. I'm not expecting them to beat. I'm expecting the next two earnings to be weak. I'm expecting the next two quarters across the market to be pretty rough in general. I'm not expecting too much in these next two quarters, personally. Now, I just think the overall economic environment that we're going to be in, we're going to see companies come out with a few bad quarters. We already kind of came off a quarter that wasn't that great regarding EPS. I think we're going to continue to see EPS kind of get lowered. And also, I think we're going to see revenues come in weak. I think we're going to start seeing revenues come in a lot weaker for big tech, such as Apple, Google, Amazon, Tesla. 
I think we're going to start seeing earnings come in for next quarter that's going to be pretty weak in those. This is just my opinion, obviously. I don't, I don't know. I'm just a YouTuber, not a financial advisor. Just share my opinions. But Planet 13 is going to have a lot of headache in front of it. You know, I'm going to be building up a position in the stock. I plan to continue lowering my cost basis on the stock. And I think they're going to have a decent amount of time to do that unless some miracle comes out for Planet and the stock just shoots up. But in the short term, I don't see anything happening right now on Planet. They're in a growth stage. They're, they're, they're trying to build out their stores right now to raise that revenue and, you know, get themselves to potential, you know, profit, profitable for the company. But that's going to take all time. Right now, they're on growth, growth, growth. Get more stores open, get more stores open, get more stores open, get more stores open. That is Planet 13's focus right now. And in this environment where we have an economic recession, in my opinion, going on, I think we have a recession going on. If you just look at everything across the board from interest rates to inflation to earnings that are coming out to revenues going down for companies for future earnings to gas prices to all the other crazy things that are going on in the world, I think we're already in a recession. I think what's going to end up happening is I think that's what's going to affect planet the most is people's discretionary income is going to shrink and shrink and shrink. And the more that discretionary income shrinks, the less money that people are going to be able to come out to places like Vegas and spend that extra money on a product like Planet. You know, people are going to choose more necessities such as keeping their utilities on, food prices, and paying their rent other than come to Vegas. And I think that could, it's not only just going to affect Planet, that's going to affect Vegas, I think, in a whole now, on the flip side of that, there's been a lot of people that's moved here from California. So that does bring in new money in the city. So we could see a little bit more of a stable customer market. People from California that have deeper pockets that, you know, the planet can still do well from. But overall in Las Vegas, I think with the environment that's going on, we're going to continue to see companies fall in the short term. I don't expect Planet 13 to go up any, you know, really any over the next 12 months. Because I don't see anything positive really happening in the environment. Even if even if the Fed goes and raises interest rates and just continues to raise interest rates, that's not going to necessarily fix all the problems. It's still going to take time for that inflation number to even start to go down. And even then, I think people are just starting to look at their money more. And I think companies like Planet 13 are going to be affected because people are just going to spend less money. So we'll obviously have to see. But, you know, I do think those price points are important. We saw it break 150, okay? $1.50, once it broke there, we've seen that stock absolutely fall to 129. I think the next price point for the planet is gonna be $1.15. I think we're gonna move down to $1.15 fairly fast, and it's gonna be one of those things where is planet gonna be able to hold that price or are we gonna go under? And in my opinion, if we go under $1.15, we're gonna go down to a dollar pretty fast. And if we go down to a dollar, there is gonna be you know some psychological fear you know, where we could start seeing even more selling. So regardless, I'm building up my cost basis. I haven't bought the stock probably in about a month, but I do plan, Planet 13's on one of the um, stocks that I do plan to buy over the next 30 days. So if I do buy the stock or any stocks that I buy, I'll share them with you guys. But yeah, I mean, if you're looking at the overall growth, if you think Planet 13 is going to be a really great company three years from now, five years from now, if you think their market cap is going to be bigger, if you think they're going to grow their revenue line, if you think they're going to build out brand awareness, you know, then obviously it's a buy. If you're scared or if you don't think Planet's going to do that, if you're against Planet and you think that there's going to be problems, then, then it's not a buy. So you have to make that decision. But for me, I'm bullish on the stock. I'm going to be buying the stock. And the lower it goes, it's just going to be better long term for my cost basis. So Anyways, guys, I just kind of want to share my thoughts on Planet. I know a lot of people follow my channel for Planet, so hopefully, you know, this kind of gave some insight on what I feel about the current price right now for Planet 13, but, you know, wanted to bring a little video, and like I said, I am working on that home tour video, so hopefully I'll be able to drop that for you guys here soon, and other than that, I just appreciate the love. I appreciate all the feedback I've been getting. I even appreciate the bad comments. Those are nice, too, but anyways, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good weekend. And until next time, peace, love.